is from www.makemegenius.com. If you want to see more science videos, go to www.makemegenius.com. Oh, yeah, it is free. Today's topic. Oh, this road is so dark and lonely. Yes, are you scared? Oh, I'm never scared. A ghost! <laughs> you said you're never scared. This is just a human skeleton. A model of human bones, maybe from school laboratory. See, let me make him stand. Oh, it looks like a human without skin and other organs. Yeah, these are just bones. Let me talk to him. Hey, how are you? Jimmy, he does not have any muscles like tongue, so he can't speak. But can you tell me about him? Yes, this provides support to our body. How? See it by magic. Jimmy? Can you see this shirt in a hanger? Yes. Let's see. If we remove the hanger, what happens? Shirt falls down if we remove the hanger. See, if bones don't stand up, our body would be like a lump of mud. Also, it saves our heart and lungs from any damage. Yes, you are right. <coughs> Skeleton supports our body. It protects our body organs. How many bones are there in our skeletal system? Oh, there are 206 bones. But when a child is born, it has approximately 300 bones. But when you grow up, few of the bones join together. Human skeleton has 206 bones. Let me show you something. This is called skull. It carries our brain and supports our face. Let's learn about other bones. Oh, these are shoulder bones. Yeah, you're right. These are called clavicle. We also call them collar bones. That is why part of the shirt at this point is called collar. Cavicle, eh, eh, collar bones. See, he is showing something. This is sternum. This is central bone on the front. What is this cage like thing? It is made of many bones. It is called rib cage. Our heart and lungs are behind these bones. So, if anyone hits at your chest, this rib cage would protect your heart and lungs. Let me show you. Ouch! See, nothing happened to your lungs and heart. <laughs> I am still breathing and my heart is still beating. Eh, eh. Rib cage protects heart and lungs. What is this bone? This is called humerus. Now see this. Touch your back. There is no bone here. Oh, it is not a single bone. It is made of 33 small bones. It is called spine. It starts from the bottom of the brain and ends at the start of the bump. Ha 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 ha! Spine is made of 33 small bones called vertebrates. Which bone is this? There are two more big bones in the arm. These are called ulna and radius. Eh, eh, ulna, radius. Oh, this is called pelvis. It protects bladder and uterus. Eh, eh, pelvis. It is the largest bone. 
It seems to be the longest and strongest bone of the body. You're right. This is femur. This is the longest bone in the body. <coughs> femur, longest and strongest bone in the body. Which are these bones? These are tibia and fibula. Hey Jenny, can you tell me which is the smallest bone in the body? Do you know the smallest bone in our body is in the ear. It is called stirrup. <coughs> stirrup bone in the ear is the smallest bone. Oh, there are so many names. Let me note all down. Let me show you something. Do you know bones are made of which thing? Oh yes, calcium. You're right. For strong bones, you need calcium and vitamin D. Seed by magic. And you get calcium from milk. Yes, and you can get vitamin D from fish. And you know, we should spend a lot of time in the sunlight. Now, my bones would be strong. Now, let's walk in sunlight. Yeah, sun gives us free vitamin D. Oh, sun gives so many things to us. For strong bones, take milk and fish. Also, walk in sunlight. So, you're going to www.makemegenius.com for science videos. It also has lots of interesting facts and PowerPoint presentations for children. 